Okay, don't everyone raise your hand at once because this is. Yep. <laughs> there we go, Declan, you go ahead. Yeah, um, I was just wondering what you all thought about the new map fracture, um, either competitively if you've scrimmed it at all or just casually. <laughs> well, I've played Fracture a lot with my group of friends so far. I honestly, it's a totally different concept of a map I've ever seen before. And that's actually very exciting to me. It's different. Uh, I have a lot of fun on it personally. Um, I think it's going to really uh, strive for people to be a little bit more creative with what you do other than straight to A and straight to B. There's so many different variables than a typical map so i'm excited to see fracture and competitive play but so far when i played it i don't know it's personally my favorite map you were playing with me the other day i was like dropping 30 bottles like i love this map so far so um yeah i'm ex i'm excited to play it more yeah i'm also really excited for it because it's gonna be like play styles that we haven't seen before in like fps games i feel like like it's gonna be really fast and there's not really going to be a meta right away you know I think it's going to be able to change and I'm excited to see how people are going to play it I'm really excited to see it in the competitive yeah. scene okay let's <laughs> go to Lynn next hello everyone so Hi. you all have created a little bit of a rivalry with TSM uh, I was curious, how did you all uh, come back from that loss, the Swiss elimination, and without, I guess, spoiling anything, what are your plans to try to defeat them again? Do you want to touch on that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that first game, I feel like, was almost just a fluke in a way. I don't know, a little bit of nerves on our end, but I don't know, I feel like we got over it really quickly and like we just came in strong mentally the next day and came in with the momentum, I would say, and we were just there to win and it happened. I think that kind of shows the experience that we have on our team for playing together for so mm -hmm. long. Uh, we just have a really strong mentality and to be able to brush off that game from the day before and go in there and dominate the next game, I think that just shows that at the end of the day, we are the better team with that win and we're excited to always play against them. Just like to announce that Sholiana has showed up. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello, hello. Uh, let's see, Jess, go ahead. Hello. Um, first of all, I just wanna say congratulations. I'm really excited to see you guys in the tournament again. It's so much fun to watch you guys play. Um, I'm going off of what Emily said um, about being in the game for a while. You've seen a lot of teams get signed. And we recently saw today that uh, Xset ha now has a roster out of no nothing to lose. So I wanted to know your thoughts on all of these teams getting signed uh, to women's rosters. Coming from the Counter-Strike world, playing, all of us have played for over 10 years, seeing this number of teams signed to pretty large organizations in Valorant is so incredibly exciting to see. That's something that we have been wanting and been striving for for so long. All these girls work incredibly hard. We're especially happy for our ex-teammate, Artstar, who's on Xset for getting signed finally. And um, everybody deserves it and everyone is competitive. And this is what we needed in the scene was just support from all of these amazing organizations. All right, let's go to Zane next. Zane, do you want to talk or do you need me to read your question? Okay, I will play it. Okay. Oh, okay. His mic isn't working. Okay. Uh, you guys love uh, utilizing KO in matches while some teams don't. What draws all of all of towards KO over other agents? I think what draws all of <laughs> you towards KO over other agents? 
Well, I'm Kale. That's me, Robot Man. Um, <laughs> he is a very similar agent to my previous style of in Counter Strike. So being able to flash and support my teammates and throw those uh, pop flashes. He's an agent that I think is something that a CS player should utilize. So we are one of the very few teams that are using him. I don't even know if another team has tried using him yet. He is a really new agent, to be fair. Um, but I think uh, after seeing more tournaments online, uh, more teams will start to use Kayo once they see his gameplay. For us, we wanted to break the barrier and be one of the first ones to use him. And I think so far it's paying off and working really well. Definitely. Well, let's go to Pedro next. Yes, hello. Um, can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hello, nice to meet you guys or girls. Um, so I'd like to know your thoughts on Polaris, the team, the Orgless team that qualified for Gaming Changers and underwent a sudden roster switch um, with Katie coming in for Soleil. So I'd like to know your thoughts on that and how they will fare uh, for this tournament. I think that the situation they're in is really unfortunate, um, like for the team as a whole. And you know, hopefully they can find a good sub and come in and give it their all. And hopefully like they'll all still have a really good mindset going into this tournament. You know, as long as you have a good mindset, honestly, and like good communication as a team, you can get really far. So good luck to them. I really hope to see them do well in this tournament. Let's go to Declan next. Uh, yeah, just kind of want to follow up my previous question for uh, Thea. Um, I was wondering if you could kind of nail down what you meant by the different play styles that we haven't seen before on Fracture. Is it just faster? Yeah, so on Fracture, so as, um, okay, you know, there's two sites and there's like two openings to each site. So like the attackers can just split like instantly. So I feel like you're really gonna have to like make gambles as a defender on like what site to set up on. And it's gonna be really different. I just feel like it's gonna be really fast. You know, I think that, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I wanna see it in like competitive play. I've only seen it in like ranked and stuff, but I think in competitive play, it's not gonna be like slow and methodical i think it's going to be more about like making gambles and like getting information and pushing and stuff like that all right let's go back to jess hey again so i think just about every game changers tournament so far has had you guys on a different patch from what the previous competitive tournament was played on um, are you embracing that change? Are you liking the fact that you guys are the first ones to play on that patch? Or are you kind of, are you wishing that you had a little bit of something to go off of before you play your matches on that new patch or, or new map? Uh, we're actually playing on the last patch. Like, uh, we're, we've been practicing with Jet, with two smokes, like with the new patch, but at the tournament we have the, the, previous patch so uh it's not a huge difference it it's different but we can adapt it happened uh on the past uh vct2 so there's a few changes but we need to get used to it we know what we're we are expecting at, at the tournament so we're just sticking to the plan we have previously we had <laughs> I was definitely talking on mute. Uh, let's go to Lynn next. Okay. If I recall correctly, you all, or most of you all, were able to meet together during the last Game Changers series. So could you touch on some of the advantages of having that previous experience and the advantages of being able to work together in the same facility? Well, luckily for us, the Dignitas um, 
boot camp that we have here is at the Verizon 5G Gang Center. So we have incredible ping. And that's one thing that our team previously always used to have to worry about was lag. We literally play from all over the world in Mexico, north of Canada, West Coast, East Coast. So being here definitely gives us a little bit of an advantage, I'd say. But also, I mean, we get to hype each other up. Whether you win or lose, you get a fist pump. You know that your teammates got your back. And I think that's crucial in competitive play. We shine at LAN, I'd say. So this is as close as we can feel to LAN, considering the pandemic that we're in. Also to add on to that, I think one of the most like important things for us as a team is having like a routine together. So like us waking up in the morning, like we'll get ready with Nick's cosmetics makeup and we'll come like get breakfast and we'll come practice <laughs> and DM together. And um, yeah, I just think it's a really good environment for us to be spending time together out of game as well as in game because it just really gives us more chemistry together. Excellent sponsor plug by both of you. So uh, they should be very happy about that. <laughs> um, Declan, let's go ahead with you. Uh, yeah, I got a more of a philosophical question for you all. I was just wondering why you all think, think uh, Valorant and Riot Games are the game and the developer to really take off in terms of a women's scene, especially now instead of Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, Overwatch, and even Riot Games' other title, League? Um, well, clearly Riot has done a lot of work to support the women's scene. Like just even this past year, this is going to be the third BCT, right? Um, so that's three 50k tournaments in one year compared to even just Counter-Strike where we had one a year and some smaller events. So I think having those bigger tournaments with Riot backing them really pushes the scene forward and gives it a lot more exposure than like Counter-Strike ever had in the women's scene. All right, Lynn, go ahead. So something that has changed from the previous Game Changer series is the format. Uh, I wanted to get uh, anyone's take on your thoughts with the new Swiss, uh, Swiss Elimination and Qualifier format. I really like the Swiss format. I think it's more fair, even though we've been playing, we're gonna play TSM for the third time, but it's just something that happened, like the sit-in. Uh, but I think it's more fair. I like it more than the previous format. I like it. Uh, back to Declan. Uh, yeah, kind of just a fun one. Um, we've seen a lot of different customization options in Valorant for the crosshairs. I was just wondering um, kind of if you could have anything you want at all for your crosshair in Valorant, what would it be, even if it can't be created in the current system? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. I love my crosshair right now. <laughs> I think it's really personal. Like there was one prac that we all changed it to the same crosshair, like almost almost all of us. And like I've been I have like some different profiles now. So when I'm playing with the sheriff, I want the dot one. When I'm playing with the phantom, I like the one with the fire and error thing. So I think it's really personal, but I like what they did, like the changes where you can like change it depending on the gun we're playing. Um, but I think it's like, I wouldn't add anything that there isn't there now. I love the basic original crosshair mm -hmm. that we use in the whole <laughs> life. <laughs> Just the four little lines and I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll want an outline one day compared to another. Mm -hmm. Maybe a different color here and there, spice yeah. it up, but. <laughs> okay, let's do our last question and that will go to Jess. I want to do a fun one too. So uh, if you guys had watched Masters, I'm sure you saw that G2 hired a plane to taunt Sentinels. If you could hire a plane to taunt TSM, <laughs> what would it say? Right, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> what would it say? Uh, 
Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the Twitter link. The Twitter link. <laughs> the Twitter link. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Rayleigh. <really. laughs> okay, inside joke. Inside yeah. joke. Uh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> no words, even. <laughs> Yeah. Um, have a safe flight back home. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> After we eliminate you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Nikitas. Uh, we will see you back here on Sunday for our winners press conference. Best of luck the entire oh. tournament. And uh, let's go dig. Yay. 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 Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.